I recall getting up around 9.30 in the morning. I spent the early afternoon hours working on the 99th Dan Hamming episode and the late afternoon hours from 4 to 5 p.m. working on drawing this Feliz Año Nuevo which is Spanish for Happy New Year on the back. I actually got a history link of the holiday store that the Corona Beer Company had. For Christmas. Uh, this is a fruity cocktail Dad made for me just now. The text is based off the text. This text that was for a sweater the company was selling at the time as apparel, although because they didn't have a police Año Nuevo sweater, I had to do some extrapolation, basically some free handing, free handing when it came to making cursive text. Since uh, this is the back of the styrofoam drawing and I already have the outline of a Corona Extra glass beer bottle and a Corona seltzer aluminum can. I decided not to put anything on the back towards the bottom. Not even any of those stars, star designs, yellow, both yellow and white, in order to keep the stylization consistent with the front and sides. In terms of the 99th Dan Hamming episode, I ultimately settled with for the hospital waiting room ambiance. I decided to settle with ambient noise hospital lobby one hour 4K by white noise laboratory. That's the channel which has the video I've recorded the ambience off using, uh, as it turns out, I use a software called Fawnpaw Screen Recorder. I use its audio recorder function in order to be able to record audio longer than a minute using the streaming audio recorder. For Fawn Paw, the limit 
of what can be saved is three minutes for a th free trial. It seems the actual audio is by someone called Tim Kahn. The source is from a website called freesound.org. I figured what I picked would be a good, the best possible compromise between privacy concerns, copyright concerns, and realism concerns. The hospital lobby slash emergency waiting room I depict It seems to be pretty large. And there was, in terms of the 99th Dan Hamming, uh, there was also a point in which I went to the raw video file entitled UB3 with a capital U and everything else being lowercase in order to save a template that featured a camera facing or front view of Officer Bobby since I suddenly remember that yeah he got those stitches from when he got I believe hit with a can of spam in a recent earlier Dan Hamming episode and so And from that view, the stitches are partially visible, so I took, I added the saved template as a scene, the latest scene, in the Wed2 raw video file that I worked on today. I got rid of everything that wasn't Officer Bobby and his stitches. I grouped Officer Bobby with his stitches. I grouped them together. I copied and pasted them into a scene that's an eighth of a second long. I wrote down these coordinates, which is based off I believe what I gave the original Officer Bobby standing for that scene. It actually uh, took a few attempts to get Officer Bobby standing facing camera consistent with Officer Bobby three-quarters view toward the left. Since
the front view will actually go up by a few picks by a pixel or two. And then to fix an inconsistency. Involving the eyebrows, I had to make another scene where Officer Bobby was involved towards the end. I believe I took the, the same Officer Bobby I used to ensure that the stitches would be in the same exact size and position, I enlarged that prop grouping and then used the snipping tool to get the eyebrows which then that custom prop had to be color corrected within Lunapix itself. I then used the eraser tool to ensure there would be no white line around the border of the prop. After doing that was when I realized I had to make the color correction via a preview or draft of the whole raw video file. Although at this point, I believe I've done all the work that needs to be done before adding it into Camtasia. Oh, but in Camtasia, I recently did some work on the Styrofoam slideshow project, of which I'm currently at 480 star foam drawing photos which is enough to make the video eight minutes long at one second per star foam drawing picture and is actually most of them at this point as for Elvenar Here is where I am currently. I'm currently working on upgrading the shrine of the Shroomy Shrooms. The dad went to Salvatore's not too long ago and got a pizza, but uh, that pizza is for tomorrow and not today. Earlier today, I activated a research technology. This one, hmm, and I believe I've already built one of the new cultural buildings that I got from activating that technology because I felt that it was inappropriate for me to have two of the same cultural building within my city in Elvenar. At this point, I'm not even really sure where that original Autumn Greetings building is. 
Yeah, but I do know it's got to be around here somewhere. I'm on the last task set for the Winter Mag Magic Winter Magic episodic event. And uh, not too long ago, I got the level 10 Bobbles Express service. I have plans of making a styrofoam drawing out of this. And I might make it a prop character within the 99th Dan Hamming episode, but I'm not entirely sure what to do for it. I worked on the Styrofoam Slideshow Camtasia project in between getting the first and second serving of Singapore noodles. I'm up to uh, 523, which covers all but the last two styrofoam drawings I did so far out of the whole collection. I just have to uh, import them, those last two, into the Camtasia project. Uh, this fruity cocktail, Dad told me, contains raspberry snaps. It has something involving raspberry juice. Uh, that much is certain. Yeah, it looks like Dad had some leftover white chocolate raspberry ice cream. In regards to the 99th Dan Hamming episode, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do at the moment. Maybe I should add in another Starfoam prop character to set up the scene with uh, the witness and the officers. And uh, maybe I shouldn't. It just depends on what I, de what I decide to do with a voice. A brief muffled conversation hearable within the hospital waiting room slash lobby ambiance.